We have another Queer News Update, ladies and gentlemen. Queer News Update, this time regarding the ballot in Ohio. Don't know if you've seen the story or not. So Democrats in Ohio, identifying as transgender, are claiming they are being barred from the ballot due to an obscure 1995 state law. And welcome back to the channel, Culture Confederacy here. It's Thursday, so thank you for watching, subscribing, being a part of this thing called the Cultural Confederacy. As you know, I love doing these videos for you guys. It's a lot of fun doing this channel. It just is. Now, according to the state law, candidates running for state office must include any name changes in the past five years in their petition paperwork. The only exemption being if your name was changed due to marriage. But Democrats are saying the law isn't listed in the 33-page candidate requirement guide, and they're saying it's being weaponized against transgender candidates. Same people are transphobic. Now, these are also known as dead names. And according to Arian Chowdhury, who's a Democrat from Agalaise County, I don't believe transgender candidates should be required to put dead names on candidacy documents. While I don't believe the law was written with bigotry in mind, it is clearly being weaponized for transphobic purposes. I just believe it's a bad law. It's now well defined. It hasn't been updated. Now, Chaudhry, who identifies as female, is running against Republican Angie King, and King sponsored bills that would segregate these bathrooms. In other words, you have to go to whatever bathroom Cora responds to whatever your gender was at birth. And the Mercer County Board of Elections chose Thursday not to take up a vote on disqualifying Chaudhry from the ballot, so she'll remain on the ballot. And earlier this month, the board had received a protest against Chaudhry's certification by Mercy County Republican Party Chairman Robert J. Heibner that included her dead name and the name change law. But most state officials aren't aware that this law even exists. And because the upcoming primary is scheduled for March 19th, Heibner's request was denied, meaning that Irene Chowdhury, like I said, will still remain on the ballot. But there's a hitch with this because her name could be, she could be removed from office. Name could be taken off the ballot for not including that dead name. Now, a similar situation has occurred with Bobby Arnold, who is running as a Democrat in Montgomery County. She's a contractor from West Alexandria. She said, quote, it's important for the overall well-being of society that every voice be heard. And I agree with that. Totally agree with that. Now, this person, uh, Bobby Arnold, she'll be allowed on the ballot. But this is just a bad law. It needs to be updated. But we weren't talking about transgender rights in 1995. I was there. I remember. It was all about LGBTQ rights. About gay marriage, marriage equality. So people really weren't talking about quote-unquote transgender rights. They were talking about gay rights in 1995. Gay liberation. So I thought I'd share this with you. But this reminds me of what's going on. Have you seen this? Of what's going on with the divorce rate in the lesbian community. Remember, they all wanted marriage equality. And I'm all for marriage equality. Now reality's sitting in. Because you never thought about, well, what happens if we get divorced? If we are going to get married and we're a same-sex couple, do we need a prenup? Who gets what if we do get divorced? Well, same thing here. You didn't think about these dead name changes. So if you change your name, you never thought about how it would affect your qualifications running as a candidate. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. You can also follow me at Instagram, hashtag Jason Composes, because I write music in my spare time. Or you can find me at X, Culture Confederacy, and Culture Confed 1 on X. This is the Culture Confederacy saying peace out. Stay safe, everybody. God bless this thing called the United States. And you know how we do it here. This is where the past crashes with the present. I'll catch you next time. And way to go for these people actually standing up and saying, hey, this law really wouldn't apply to me. Because it's not listed in the paperwork that I'm supposed to uh, fill out here 
for running for candidate uh, for whatever the office is. So way to go for speaking up, saying, hey, this law doesn't exist or, or this law doesn't apply. So I'm all for this. There should be an equal playing field. Equal playing field for everybody. This just goes to show you the fault of having just two parties. So as I said, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you next time. This is the Culture Confederacy saying peace out, and you all have a great weekend.